Hi, this is King Butcho, and I want to welcome you to BDA Boxing, the Boxing Debate Arena. Um, yesterday, I predicted that I, I said that Spence Jr. was going to win, but I also said that I thought Peterson was going to put on a very good performance. I said he was going to shock everyone. By the way, I was I was drinking yesterday, so maybe that kind of affected, you know, like my my prediction influenced my prediction, but. Uh, God damn it, was I fucking wrong? I mean, Sp Peterson has to retire. He he has fought everyone, and I think we've seen the best of Peterson. And now he 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 his chin's completely gone. Uh, mentally, I don't know if he was there. He he wanted the fight to be stopped. He he didn't want to say it, but you could you could tell. I mean, his face. He he wanted he wanted out. In my opinion, he's done, and, and he's not going to become a world champion at Walter, in the welterweight division. He's not going to move up to 154, and if he does, he's going to get stopped uh, at 154. So, he has nowhere to go. We've seen the best of Peterson. He, he should retire. Uh, so, yeah, I was completely wrong with, in my prediction. Again, I said Spence Jr. was going to win, but... I, man, God damn it, Peterson. What, oh, this guy's done. And... and Let's give credit to Spence Jr. He did what he had to do. He 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 stopped Lamont Peterson. Uh, but then again, also Matisse also stopped Lamont Peterson at some point. So are we still sold on on Spence Jr.? I mean, I think he's a great welterweight. He, we ha we need to see him fight Keith Thurman. I mean, that fight has to happen, and we have to wait and see how Crawford performs in the welterweight division. Because I, I think he's gonna do great in the, in the welterweight division, but still, how much power is, is Crawford gonna have? We see, we saw him, we saw Crawford fight Paul Stoll, a tall guy, and let's be honest, he didn't really impress us that much. That, that one of his most boring fights uh, ever. And, and the thing is, he was fighting a bigger guy. I mean, that that's why he 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 couldn't stop Paul Stoll. He didn't look that impressive. So by this could happen again in the Walter with division. You know, he's gonna be fighting bigger guys. So, like, we have to see, wait and see how Crawford performs at 147. But it, it only it, it looks like it's gonna be at the end of the day Crawford against Spence Jr. Oh, and by the way, some people are already saying like, okay, uh, Spence Jr. He's a he's a top 10 pound for pound, but how can he be? How the hell can he be a top pound for pound? He hasn't. Being, he's not the lineal champion in the Walter division, right? So I don't know. I don't know how you become a pound for pounder if you haven't even cleaned up your division. So yeah, I don't think there's Spence, this like right now. There's any space for Spence Jr. in the top ten pound for pound until he unifies or becomes the lineal champion in the Walter division. Then there's not. It doesn't make sense to call him a pound for pounder. Anyway, so I'm just fucking babbling and ranting so yeah i was wrong about peterson the guy should retire all right take care guys